Corporate Airlines Flight 5966 was a scheduled passenger flight from St. Louis, Missouri to Kirksville, Missouri. On October 19, 2004, the Jetstream 32 operating the flight crashed on approach to Kirksville Regional Airport due to pilot error. Thirteen people were killed. Topic: <laughs> Flight information. Flight 5966 was a flight route from St. Louis Lambert International Airport in St. Louis, Missouri, United States to Kirksville Regional Airport in unincorporated Adair County, Missouri, near the city of Kirksville. Corporate Airlines later Regents Air, now defunct, flew the route as part of the American Connection Network, an affiliate of American Airlines. Topic: <laughs> Accident On October 19, 2004, the Jetstream 32 twin-engine turboprop flying the route crashed on the approach to Kirksville Airport. The crash killed both pilots and 11 of the 13 passengers aboard. The two surviving passengers were seriously injured. Some of the 13 passengers were doctors from other states who had been due to attend a seminar at the A.T. Still University. These included Stephen Z. Miller, who was killed in the crash. Dr. Miller was Director of Pediatric Emergency Medicine at New York Presbyterian Hospital, a prominent figure in «Humanism in Medicine» movement. Investigation The National Transportation Safety Board NTSB determined that the probable cause of the accident was the pilot's failure to follow established procedures and properly conduct a non-precision instrument approach at night in instrument meteorological conditions, including their descent below the minimum descent altitude before required visual cues were available which continued UN moderated until the airplane struck the trees and their failure to adhere to the established division of duties between the flying and non-flying pilot. The NTSB analysis of the cockpit voice recorder suggests that both pilots were looking outside the cockpit for visual cues to the location of the airport and failed to realize how low they had descended below the minimum descent altitude. Contributing to the accident were the pilot's failure to make standard call-outs and the current federal aviation regulations that allow pilots to descend below the minimum descent altitude into a region in which safe obstacle clearance is not assured based upon seeing only the airport approach lights. The pilot's failure to establish and maintain a professional demeanor during the flight and their fatigue likely contributed to their degraded performance. In popular culture The television series Aircrash Confidential featured the incident in the third episode of Season 2, titled Pilot Fatigue. 